For me, uh, phase two, I had to deal with the behavior that led me to my addiction. I found out a lot about why I did it, right? Why, why I did it. I, I gave in a lot. I gave in a lot. I wasn't. I was codependent to people with people. I uh, just didn't want to change. I learned. I had came to the realization that I was afraid of change. I, I, I just finally came to that recently at the end of phase two I learned that I had to change my behaviors I've been so afraid of, for ch of change for so long I didn't even want to come here I didn't want to change who I was I loved being an addict for a long time so coming here through phase two um, ch I've learned to change all my old behaviors if, if something made me uncomfortable I'm gonna do it now I play volleyball I just played volleyball I did not want to play volleyball but that was something out of my comfort zone you're gonna have to do that here especially the people in detox man like if you want to do the work here, you're going to have to change. They change things that you're so comfortable with. You're not going to be comfortable with them anymore. So don't be afraid to change the things that you're so accustomed to doing. That's the reason why you're here to begin with. Just grasp the idea of change and, and change for the better. And that's it. I think I'm good. We believe that you should empower the individual mm -hmm. and that we need to show them what went wrong and then give them their power back so that they can tackle addiction as an issue and overcome that. With your program, how successful are you? And so we track them all the way through the program and then after the program. And last year we ranked number one in the entire nation based off of success and overall results. So if people wanted to get more information, where do they go? ElevateRehab.org.